Are Americans too trusting of doctors and hospitals? Do we sometimes get poor or even deadly care? And what can we do about it? Our guest today is uh, Dr. Marty McCary. Hi. Good to be Welcome. here, Gary. Marty is the uh, author of a new book called Unaccountable, What Hospitals Won't Tell You and How Transparency Can Revolutionize Healthcare. So, so tell me, I mean, what, what exactly is the extent of this problem in terms of medical errors that result in deaths? Well, Gary, new research has shown, now this is established research, New England Journal of Medicine, doctors in the specialties are saying one in four patients in a hospital are harmed from a medical mistake, and 20 to 30 percent of all medications, tests, and procedures are unnecessary. So we've got to step back and say, look, what other industry misses the mark that often? When a plane crashes, the entire industry learns from the mistakes. There's an investigation, they get the black box. In healthcare, the same mistakes keep happening, and we need to learn from our mistakes. And the first part of it is to be open and honest about the problem. You, you also have these incredible numbers in, in this piece uh, that we have in Wall Street Journal Weekend Review, and, and you say that there are almost 100,000 deaths each year from medical mistakes, and that would rank it somewhere like sixth um, if it were a disease among causes of death? A big study over a decade ago yeah. uh, sort of shocked the world with that number, but now more recent studies are saying that way understated the problem, and there are at least 200,000 deaths from medical mistakes. If you put medical mistakes and preventable infections in one category and made it a disease, it would be the number three cause of death in the United States. We need to be open and honest about the problem if we're going to change it. Now, now uh, getting to this question of openness and honesty, you have really um, some, to me, chilling stories about what you've experienced in some of the country's best hospitals. So, so what is the culture like there in terms of pointing to bad practices, pointing out doctors who perhaps are doing a lot of harm to patients? Well, uh, hospitals need to be accountable for their outcomes. And up until recently, we haven't had any way of measuring the quality of our hospitals. We're at an exciting time in healthcare right now. Doctors groups have come up with well-endorsed ways to measure how good the hospital outcomes are. But we as a society, as a society need to ask, do we believe that the public has a right to know about the quality of their hospital's care? Now, you have in, in this piece some very interesting ideas about how we might do that. Now, now, one that intrigued me is this idea of some kind of online informational dashboard, as you call it. So, so what would that look like and how would it work? This dashboard, which is starting to take shape, has infection rates for a hospital the number of procedures and conditions they treat, readmission or bounce back rates, co complication rates after procedures, adjusted for how risky the patients are at one hospital versus another. These are well endorsed metrics that are coming from the doctors groups that are trying to measure healthcare in a way that consumers could do something as simple as put in their condition and look up the performance of a hospital before choosing to go there. You know, we have a healthcare free market but the competition is at the wrong level. I mean, I have patients that tell me they chose a hospital because the parking was easy there. Okay. Uh, we can do better than that. This is one-fifth of the U.S. economy. Now, you, you also talk about work that you've done, I guess the survey research that you've done uh, at hospitals across the country, um, talking about sort of the culture there. So what's that about? Well, there's no single metric of how good a hospital is out there. But if there's one that says more than anything else, it's asking the people who work there, that is the docs and the nurses on the front lines, would you go here for your own medical care? Is the teamwork good? What is your perceptions of the management? How do you resolve conflicts? And those results are very telling. Dr. Pronovost and Sexton and I published a series of studies that looks at that question. And what we found is that anywhere from a quarter of U.S. hospitals to a half of U.S. hospitals have employees that say it's pretty bad here. And uh, you, you also uh, point to things that are sort of technical fixes that might have some impact in the OR, say, on how doctors do their work. So, so cameras <laughs> seem to be an important part of what you're uh, suggesting here. How, how would that work? Well, none of us like a speed trap at an intersection when you see a big camera, but everybody agrees that it makes everybody comply with the law. Now, most of what we do in healthcare is video-based. 
everything from a colonoscopy to arthroscopic surgery to a cardiac cath procedure placing a stent. These are all video-based procedures. Those videos are erased after every patient. If they were put into the patient's record or even given to the patient, we would have less of the Wild West in medicine. Very good. Well, thank you, uh, Dr. Marty McCary, for uh, joining us. Uh, the book, again, is called unaccountable, and uh, I suspect it will cause a lot of uh, important discussions in the medical industry. For uh, Wall Street Journal Weekend Review, I'm Gary Rosen.